Hey everybody, welcome to Two Funny Mamas. This is all like you just woke up from the grave. I'm sorry. Hey y'all, welcome to Two Funny Mamas. I'm Kim Tell me you're alive. Huh? Tell me you're alive. I didn't bury I am alive. And she is talking like this because she don't want to open her mouth too big, which is exciting for me. <laughs> she can't open her mouth too big because her teeth are sensitive. I just got my teeth whitened and every time air hits my teeth. You mean like this? <laughs> Literally, I said hi to Joshua and I went, hey, Joshua. And the pain took me to my knees. So you need to go... You go brush with the Sensodyne? I got some stitches you want me slathered on your teeth? Now, what we're doing, my fingers. You, didn't, you didn't offer to do this before we started. I said use Sensodyne, but you should use it right now. Yeah, you're right, it makes a difference. I'll, I'm not gonna do a lot of talking because everybody thinks that I buried your body. You've been gone for like four weeks. And while the fans loved our guest stars of B Flat and David Arnold, all of the comments were like, they're great, but where is Kim? We're missing Kim. Got it. You so forced me to do this today. I did because Kim has, uh, she's so work working on a project with Lena Waithe. She's got a movie. As soon as we get off, I got to learn she got off, she's got to learn yeah. lines. So, but I made her come because I was going to have another guest star. And I said, you know what, Kim? Everybody wants to hear it. They want to see what you've been doing. You done had a birthday. You done been to Cabo. Oh, yeah. You done done stand up on stage. Like, your brother got married. A you you threw a bachelor party for your brother with oh strippers God. who loved your daddy. You got a lot to talk about. So start talking. Really? That's what you do? Start talking? Your teeth are killing you. Look how white they are, though. <laughs> look. So look, how they, white, look how white they are. They're like zombie white. So what, they put acid on them or something? I don't, I don't want to talk about it. They they put some kind of, I went to the dentist and they cleaned it. By the way, when they cleaned my teeth, they said my gums and everything were in excellent condition, but they put some kind of gel on it and it's some kind of light or yeah. something. And I had to do it for 40 minutes. Oh, yeah. let's, see the, let's see the goods. <laughs> I knew she'd be down. Look at that. Look at these two. Look at mine. And I ain't cleaned nothing. <laughs> it's probably okay, been a week. Yeah. I drink coffee. Oh, they told me no. That's because my teeth ain't real. <laughs> <laughs> That's hysterical. They said I can't do nothing for the first like forty-eight hours. My nerves will be sensitive, which I, I, well, I now can't. Well, you know, because I gotta do a nothing, movie. Nothing. 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 I can't do nothing. Who are you? Where are you? But from? I gotta do a movie tomorrow, so I can't be like this because I got I'm playing a, a an angel that's like in, in good mood. And so, so I gotta, you gotta take some sensodyne. I gotta do some sensodyne. The nail color is pretty. You have to in the slather purple. It. But they said I can't do anything colored. Uh, my assistant made me some barbecue chicken wings. I can't eat those. I'm hung. I'm hungry. Yeah, because your your teeth, are, your pores, and your teeth are open. They're open, and I'm looking at these Lay's potato chips, and it's like I can't eat that. No, I can't eat that. Why you have a whole box in First here? First of all, don't tell everybody my business. <laughs> like I shop in bulk places. That's why. That's it. I only thought you did your men in bulk. Ha! That was good. Nice. I do everything in bulk. All right, so let hey, me... Chris, how you doing? I, I'm tired of you avoiding us, and uh, and you know we've missed you, and uh, people are treating Sherry like she's potentially a murderer or something. So it's nice of you to to come strolling back to your podcast. Well, thank you. I, you know, I've missed everybody. I've missed talking to Sherry. I missed you, Chris. I missed talking to my fans. Um, you know, I was thinking, you know what I forgot to do on that show I did to talk about my life? Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to write my book, my memoirs. Yes. Because can you believe I didn't talk about why I came out here in the first place? What was my first introduction to show business? No, Superfly. yeah. Superfly. Ron O'Neill is my cousin. Who played Superfly. And he played Superfly. And I was a little girl and I couldn't go see that movie. But he was, I love my cousin. He had that pretty hair. Honey, he, everybody was fawning all over him. I said, I want that same kind of attention <laughs> to tell that story. And they do. And you got you to gotta tell got it, it in your memoir. Yeah, I got to tell it But I'm going to start from the beginning because you have so much that we were at Marla Gibbs. I told them a uh, walk-up. She them? got a star on the walk of fame. Yes, she did. But I let's start so this way. Kim, Kim was running, running, running because she threw 
her brother Kyle, who uh, has come on the show once, we couldn't say that he was getting married. Now he's like he telling everybody, I'm, mm-hmm. I was married. Oh, he loved me, man. Is he? Yeah, I had I had a long talk with him. So he said it's okay to say it on the podcast. Oh, absolutely. He said he wished. Remember, Chris, when we were on the podcast and Kyle was on the podcast, and I was like, he getting married. He was like, oh, oh. I didn't. I didn't understand that. So I'd, I'm excited he, to hear the he breakdown. Still was like a Is little you know, little camera shot, but he yes. said to me on the couch. He said, Sherry, I wish I would have said on the podcast I'm getting married. He was like, so anyway. Yeah, he's used to it now. He he likes it, but Kim, uh, um. I was gonna say some real nasty, but that's disrespectful because he married back <laughs> on that show. He feels like I'm married. But Kim that's threw a bachelor I, party in her backyard. I want to match you. She set it. Oh, thank you. We match it. She set it up, and she had hot. And she was looking for exotic dancers. So Kim called herself trying to go to the club by herself, looking for dancers, which didn't work. You wouldn't go with me. Because it was going to recognize both of us. So what? That may, they might give us a discount. No, if they see the celebrities <laughs> come in, a discount is not what they're going to give. No, they'll know. I'm mostly on BET. They might come after you <laughs> and be like, she on that, you know, network money. On that network money. So she found, someone helped her and she found three gorgeous dancers. The bachelor party was amazing. Lit. It was lit. But here's the thing. Her brother kept going, will you guys leave? Like it was women there. My husband <laughs> was there. Kim was there. It was just women there. And Kyle was like, why are y'all still here? And I'm like, because you got all of these friends who are engineers, yep. doctors, architects. Architect. One of Kim's cousins came from freaking Sweden. If you thought Kim was all the and way Africa, single. she not. That's right. He came all the way from Sweden and he had just gotten a divorce. Yes. You think I was going to leave? And girl, he met somebody while he was here and it could have been you. And he said he's going to fly back to the United States once a month. Yeah. Oh, he and here's the deal. Too. I never got a chance to talk to him. The dude from Sweden, her cousin from Sweden, who is an architect. Christopher. No, oh. Christopher is a uh, engineer. He's an engineer. Sea That's Rock. all Kim has is engineers and architects and one comic. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. And so they're all professionals. Even her daddy's here. And your daddy's how old? 87. 87 years old. He owns an architectural firm and built everything in Cleveland. And I didn't even get to talk to Kim's cousin who was from Sweden because the stripper pole wouldn't fit. All right. They had a portable stripper pole that they brought and Kim has an overhang. (laughs) So they thought that nobody came for a rehearsal. So they go to put up the stripper pole, and the pole is too short, and it won't touch the overhang. I can feel this air. Wait, but, but we had a meeting before that, a couple of nights prior to a meeting. Right. We talked about the pole. We, she didn't bring she it. She assured you it would fit, that right. it's portable. So this is what I love about Kim's family, because they're all architects, Chris. Oh, yes. yes. Everybody got together and judged it, and Scott, her other brother, who's an architect, That's and right. Kyle smoking a cigar and they like if we do this and if we use this so, like architectural and, and then, I was so turned on I was so horny they, they went and got the level they went and got a level and for they a, for a pole. Pole when I tell you I was so turned on by the sheer intelligence that was at this house because we usually don't have that we got Andre and Kim and a plethora of other people did you say we got the intelligence but the intelligence these men me were all Andre. architects and engineers help, and they was taking that stripper pole out when I tell you and we went and got Kim's leveler and you, they got you were helping That's oh I was, I was helping but oh, I, I bet she was Sweden that's what I, I messed it up <laughs> but they they fixed that stripper pole they did Kim had a beautiful spread of wine, vegan food. Well, I, first packed. of all, I had a great party plan. Oh my God. Latrice. Latrice, who does my makeup. Yes. Gonna say her name because I'm. Latrice myself. Johnson. She, yes. And she, she planned an my birthday party. But she put it together. We had beautiful white oh, furniture. It was amazing. And Kim, but see, here's the thing. This was supposed to be a bachelor party, Chris. Kim planned it so that all of the family mingles for like two hours. And then the bachelor party starts. <laughs> Oh, Wait, you just does ease so into some. <laughs> what say it, Chris? Ease into some titties. Like what is? Yeah, but so this is what happened. Ease. Kyle, she, Kyle made her man anyway because he had left the so jacuzzi mad, yeah. heater and the pool heater on for all, all day. day. 
So the jacuzzi was like 192 degrees. The pool degrees. was 192 degrees. I said, who makes a pool this high? Let me tell you about my friend. She don't be playing with her electricity bill. Okay. She was already. <laughs> so every time somebody came and said, Kyle wants the women to leave. Because Latrice who planned it was walking around with all of the money. She, she has the money change. Changer. She has the change. But every time somebody told Kim, Kyle wants the women to leave, Kim was like, this is my party. My house. I'm like, it's actually not your party. Like, and she was like, I told him I want family to mingle for two hours. To and I mingle. Go, but I go from that into strippers. Like, they should leave. Sherry. And her sister in law, who's a kids. doctor, was here. She, 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 she had the kids. Sister in law was here, and she was just like, you know, she's all flitting around. She got a bubbly personality as a doctor. When I, I'm telling you, you the sheer her. intelligence in the Whitley family, I'm not sure where it stopped. I'm, I'm just going to say it. I'm going to be mean? transparent. All I said was... Why would you say that? I'm I said, not sure where it stopped. Why did it have to stop? Well, it got halted. It didn't get halted. Oh, I'm extremely... Just because I, what happened was I stopped <laughs> using my intelligence a lot because it was intimidating to my friends and men. So, <laughs> and when, I, so when I stopped it, I lost it. <laughs> <laughs> It's like when you retire at 70 and yes. your brain just goes, yes, you stop right. using your intelligence. Yes. I have a I have a very serious question. So these dancers, were they did they like finish up a pig in the blanket and run over to the pole? Like Let were they involved in the mingling? How did this work? These dancers had the and this is okay, we doing the wrong thing. These yes. dancers came out of lockdown. Kim had them in the green room and she had Andre over to be a bodyguard. This man was secured. He was in the room with the dancers the yes. whole night. Help them get ready. Helping them get ready. I walk in there and I go, Andre, what are you doing in here with this with the dancers? And he's like, I'm just trying to make sure they're okay. They gotta get dressed. He like, my back is to them. You did say that. My he goes, back. and he go, like old grandpa, like, and go ignore me. Just ignore. Now I'm sounding like old oh, bitter bitch Betty. Yeah. Because I go get up the room with the dancers, Andre. Let him get dressed. He said my back is too. He gonna do this to me. My back to him. Yeah, he did. My back is to him. <laughs> and he's gonna turn right back around. Just ignore oh. me. I said, let me leave. He Andre. had little snacks for him. He had table. snacks and everything. He <laughs> look, Andre. Andre booked three photography sessions with all the dancers. Oh wow! So they came out the green room, and this is what they did. They mingled with all the men there. And all they did was they sat with all these men. And all I heard these women doing was, really? Oh, <laughs> really? Yeah. And I'm here, this mistake I made, I was at, over there eating. I was getting all the food. We was at the food section. We was at the food bar going, Kim, this food is good. Oh, my God, you got chicken. It's not different ways you made chicken. I had the sprinkles, cupcake and those. Meanwhile, them dancers was already setting the stage. They were sitting there all with the men, and they were listening to all of their stories and laughing. I said, these girls are amazing. Pros. So, so you finish it. They started what the party started. Well, honey, let me tell you something. The party started. The men wanted what we had was first. I was gonna, I was gonna talk about what we had was the um, first of all, Kyle, my brother, loves cigars. So uh, uh, you know, Latrice made sure we had uh, uh, Mata. How you say that? The Mata. Mancha, mancha. Yeah, those yeah. cigars. Monticello. If you go on my Instagram, yeah, it's uh, shut up, Chris. I heard you. What? That's... Oh, mess up the name. But the name is hold up, Chris. Here it is. Uh, my glasses. Mom, M O M B A C H. Oh, Mamba Choga. Mamba, Mamba, Mam, Mamba Cho. Cho. Mamba Cho cigars. M O M B A C H O. You got it. You know that? Okay, great. So, because these men love to smoke cigars. Yeah, they go to cigar bars. Yeah, they supplied all these cigars and, and the way Latrice laid it out. They, it, because was so, it was just cigars ready and they for were everybody all walking everywhere. Around smoking cigar. When I tell you, I felt like I was at a high level, just like this is what you dream of, ladies. All of these architects and engineers and a stand-up comic. Yes, it was in a stand-up comic. <laughs> and then we had tequila, mandala. That remember that pretty bottle right yeah, there? Yeah, we had the tequila. Tequila mandala. We had. Uh, Look at me, like yeah, we had the tequila. <laughs> was, I mean, it was so. Young. But these dancers, what I realized, ladies, the very thing that we tease men about how you know we always got to make them feel validated. We always got to make them feel nurtured. 
when they went to make their money, they made so much money dancing because they set the stage beforehand and paid attention to these men. Yes. They sat there with them and, and they didn't talk. They listened. It was a lot that I learned from these dancers. They just listened. They had nice, sexy clothes on. Had the sex, they looked, the presentation was beautiful. They weren't slutty. I want to oh, make sure they were not slutty. They, were, they had beautiful presentation. They sat there, they listened, they laughed at their stories. They asked them if they wanted something to drink. They asked them if they wanted something to drink. And the these bar. men were putty in their hands. And I said, you know what? I probably could get a lot more out of Andre if I talked to him right. Yeah, you do. <laughs> I don't talk to him. You don't talk to him right I told you know Andre, she told Andre. I told Andre better than you. No, you oh, don't. You talked okay, to him. No. You, oh, I had to get on you. Well, we, we gonna you had to get on me. Okay, we gonna get on ask you. Andre next time. We gonna ask Andre. He gonna say you talked to him crazy. We did a we did a show at the Improv Sunday. Yeah, we got we got to hear about this. We did the show. Kim killed it. She says to Andre, "I need you to get my stuff. Get my stuff. You take it." And I said, "Kim, that's kind of harsh." That. Yeah, yes, because I said that's kind of yeah. harsh. And Kim goes. Anybody in this room with a dick need to be carrying my stuff. <laughs> you, you remember saying that? And I said, wow, well, okay, that's harsh. No, no. You say anybody in this room with a dick? No, with no. a dick? Let carry me, my stuff. Let me, let me correct you. I don't talk like, I never use the D word, first of all. Kim used the D word. word. Listen to okay, me, Chris. It was Vanessa Gratic that yelled that out. All I did was high five and ran the green. <laughs> <laughs> All I did was a, was a dance and a high she's five lying. and said, tell her. If she's lying about building that bridge, we'd no, collapse. I, do you understand? <laughs> You're going to make me call Andre. Yeah, that, call Andre right now. I don't, call I Andre not, right now. I would and never, and, I'm gonna ask, and Andre's going to giggle because he's going to say, if I say, Andre, who speaks to you worse, you me or Sherry? put Andre on the microphone. No, we right? got to know the exact. By the way, Andre. Let me tell you why. We were in the sprinter. We took a sprinter down there, right? Let me tell you something. The way she yelled at her manager, Kevin, I said she rolls out the seat like a 90-year-old woman from the South that had a rifle. He said, well, what you all should do is that maybe you should go first. You're going to say, what I'm not going to do is let you sit in the this show. What we're going to do is this is what we're going to do. I looked at his face. I looked at her. I said, who said you didn't like confrontation? You are confrontation. And the next person that says Sherry doesn't like confrontation, I'm going to say F you. I apologize. Kim, Kim. Did you? I did apologize. And that's when I said, that's why she ain't got no man. <laughs> <laughs> Kim, can we add to the story and give listeners and viewers some background on Kevin's background? Does he, is he Kevin just fresh? Is, is he... my road manager. Siobhan, you've seen Siobhan. Siobhan is Kim's road manager. When she goes on the road, Kevin Wasson is my road manager. He has been road manager for Ricky Smiley, for D.L. Hughley, <laughs> road manager for Anthony Anderson. Uh, I'm, he was road manager for some more. So right now he's road manager for Anthony Anderson, and he is also my road manager. So he has handled big names, and he's a professional. He knows what he's doing. Right, so he, knows, so he, he knows, knows a thing or two. And he's just saying, he's saying it so kind. All I said was, don't do this. She did. I, she did. <laughs> I, I looked. At, I, I just sat. I said, "This bitch is crazy." I, said, I couldn't believe it because I, I looked at everyone up. in the sprinter. Everyone was uncomfortable. That was everyone, not, that's no, so no, not that, that is the truth. Siobhan's eyes got big. Andre put his head down and, did, and shook his head. And then Kevin, he's so used to dealing with celebrities and people, it just rolled off his back. He was just he wasn't shocked. All of us were because it came from nowhere. Because what I don't like is when you don't, when I say what we're going to do and you don't listen to me and you want to change things He was up. just making a suggestion, Trigger. Was that your trigger? You need yes, to talk to your- it's a big trigger. You got to talk to your a therapist she's, about She's something. talking with her nails. I like it. It was ridiculous. <laughs> because when I say something, you and it was a lot of suggestions from him. And it, I was getting irritated because I'd already put this show together. But I want to say, and I did apologize. And he said, don't even worry about it. I don't take anything. It rolls off my back. It did roll off his back. But if I was him, that, but put him 10 years ago, he probably would have been like, I accept your apology, but I need you to apologize in front of everyone. I wouldn't have done all that. Well, that's so what I'm saying. But you're going you to chop his neck off in front of everyone. You should apologize in front of everyone. Well, I would have, because I would have forgot to go off on him in private. I got it. I'm like Obama. You do it then and there. Swift, do it over. 
Like I, I would have forgot to go off on him in private, so it would have been a waste. So oh, I did it in front of everybody. Andre's busy. But Andre, uh, Andre opened for us, and may I say, mm-hmm. he was so funny. That's Killed great. It. That's it great. Really, I was not ready for it. I was proud of Andre. He was really, really good. And I apologize to Andre for my thoughts of him being horrible. <laughs> when you talk, no, but when he gets off stage, he was like, Andre, I was really surprised you did that well. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't think he was gonna do well. I got said, I, what in the world? You gotta be honest. No, you don't have to be honest. Them, them dancers wasn't honest with, with all the men out the there. Audience? I was honest. You did, I tell you, the dancers brought a money counting machine. Oh, so we gotta get back to the dancers. So I, Kim has got to send pictures, Chris. Find the pictures of all of the money, please, and send it to Chris. These women. It w- the ground was littered with money. with money. I don't know where her daddy got all that money. Mm. Daddy, <laughs> found her daddy, and Kim had a fit because she thought he was gonna have a heart attack. I see. He ain't had that much action, was which ridiculous. was really good for him though, because you know. Was it? Because he went to heaven. My mother been up. My mother ain't never shook her ass in front of my daddy like Which is that. why this was good for him. No, my daddy was Like, sometimes men nervous. just, your father was not uncomfortable, please. He was nervous. Your daddy was not nervous at all. I don't know what you saw. It wasn't what I saw. And it, he, and I, I, and I uh, bought your daddy food. I bought your daddy food. I saw you trying to get on, get with my daddy. I said, daddy. Hey, Andre. Hey, what's up? Andre. Yeah. Okay, you know Kim and I talk to you a certain way. Who talks to you crazy, Kim or Sherry? It depends. <laughs> it, it varies. It varies on what, Andre? What, what's what needed? No, Andre, Andre, for real. Do I really, am I really as disrespectful as she is? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, don't lie. Okay, Andre, when we were at the comedy club, and we've already told our fans and listeners, you were amazing. You were amazing. amazing. Did Kim, when, when we were getting our stuff, did Kim not say to you, anybody in this room that got a dick got to carry my stuff? That's what we're leaving. But she wasn't serious. I know, but she but said no, 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 no. <laughs> did Vanessa Graddick say that or did I say that? Okay. Kim was the one that said it. Nope. Oh. Because I said that was harsh. No, no, Vanessa said it first. And, and then who Kim, said it after? It doesn't matter. I didn't Kim start it. Kim said it too. All I did was high five. No. I didn't say that word. Who said it after? I Vanessa? don't use the D word. It's very harsh. Andre. <laughs> Unless I put a give me that in front of me. Right. I've, I've heard that a few times. <laughs> did, did, did Kim not repeat what Vanessa said? Honestly, I don't remember. Oh, Andre. Okay. This is wait, wait, wait. Did, crazy. I have this a question. Is- Andre, did Kim or Sherry make you take her shoe, take their shoes off before or after the show? Did they treat you like an opener? Opener. Not have to take their shoes off. I just had okay. to carry Sherry's uh, clothes. I had to carry Sherry's clothes. Nothing of Kim's. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> also, my toe is fractured, so that's why I took my clothes. But he's working. He's a comic. He was a no. You don't get to. He wasn't Andre. Know, no. He, no, but he still was amazing. But it's still some stuff you got to do. And my foot was fractured. My toe. Was well, fractured. he did have to do some stuff in order to get that spot. It's still stuff you got to do. It's still stuff you got to do. It's still stuff you got to do. You know that. Yeah, you know the rules. You know the rules. You don't get to just open and not be doing nothing. Right. You still owe me. <laughs> But Andre uh, was phenomenal on the stage. He was. But Andre, didn't Kim say, I was surprised you were going to do well? Didn't she say that? Yes, she did. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. okay, why are we talking? Why are we talking? Oh, Andre. No. Careful. Andre. Andre. Look at the way she said it. Listen, that. Andre, did Sherry <laughs> in the spring, on the way to the show snap off on Kevin, her road manager? Oh, he had his earphones. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't that bad, Andre. You know that. Andre? I had headphones and I heard you. Oh! <laughs> he had the music on and he heard you. Damn it. Kim, how did it, how did it go again? It, it went. 
she snapped, slapped, she was clapping. I'm holding the phone, but she started clapping her hands. Clap like that. So disrespectful. Clap and lean. No, she she rose from the dead. She was leaning back in the chair and she clapped and sat up to really make her point. Like she gonna jump bad. If I wasn't so sleepy, I was gonna say, such a little munchkin ass down. Uh, and, and here's the uh, point. If she wasn't sleeping during the whole day, yeah. we are talking about business the whole time. Kim would wake up from her sleep and go, I don't like that. I think we need to, you ain't been in this conversation all night. I heard it, I was tired. We done booked the whole tour with the funny mamas and the pay point, price point and everything. Kim would sleep during the whole thing. But I was, I was listening. Oh. Oh my God. So Andre, who talks to you the craziest? That night? No, 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 no. <laughs> who did, who stressed you out a little bit? Kim. Sherry. What? <laughs> <laughs> Sherry had a million, uh, gotta read this, gotta say this, gotta mention this. Her credit list was a page and a half long. Thank you. Me mad Thank about you. Andre, I'm a, and I'm gonna say this right now. <laughs> when you go to a comedy club, now she turning on you. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> Andre pissed me off. When you go to a comedy club, the, the comic reads. He says, "You've seen this man in Coming to America. You've seen him on Saturday Night Live. You've seen him in the the 48 Hours and Trading Places." As they're saying that, the crowd is getting more excited because they know. It's Eddie Murphy. Now they know Eddie Murphy if you walk on stage. Okay, you just get up and leave. You <laughs> no, just get up and walk I forgot away. I had the air conditioner on the whole damn time. No wonder we yelling. <laughs> <laughs> we yelling. We yelling. We yelling. We yelling. I like the, the energy. I like the energy. I like the air conditioning <laughs> energy. When you were at a comedy club, yes, they know it's Eddie Murphy, and yes, they know what Eddie's done, but when you say credit, it, it their credits, it makes the audience get hyped. It makes him get excited. So I told Andre, I gave him four things to say. The air is on. The air is on. I know the air is on. <laughs> so I gave, oh, I'm still yelling. I gave Andre four, because I'm passionate. I gave Andre four things to say. It's not hard. And then he goes, he going to turn and look at me and go, why I got to say it? They already know who you are. You ain't got to say that. They're there to see you. It's, it's, it's on Some the fire. No, I don't. Andre, you can't. You can't do that. Cause some people aren't there to see her. Some people are there to see me. Well, so there I, needs to be. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I can't even, oh, that's funny. <laughs> so they don't know who I am. They never know who I am. <laughs> yeah, you gotta say them And by the way, we sold the show out. So oh who, if there was any one of you who listened to our podcast, cause Andre asked and some people said they did listen to Two Funny Mamas, thank you because the show was sold. There was not an empty seat in the house. It was fantastic. It was fantastic. I hope and we so, got COVID from that. I think we were okay because I'm good. I it was. COVID. It was. I'm good. good. It was so to- good, Andre. I've brought this up how many times? Thirty times. I've got a venue. I've got this. We're gonna work it out. It was so good. Sherry texted me to tell me how good it was, how great you guys did, and how excited she is for St. Louis. I was like, that is yes, that is a confirmation I've been looking for. That's great. We're going to come to St. Louis because it was a great show. I'm only going to St. Louis to get one thing. <laughs> Some D, All which right. you say you don't say. No. Well, have it just as long to as meet you show his up. Mother, that's only you're going to meet. You're going to meet Joni. I get to go to St. Louis. <laughs> if you don't, if you I act, act right, right, if you grab, if you, you act, act right, right. Yeah, you got to bring Andre. Yeah. If you pull that mess you pulled this Sunday, I don't know. But he was trying. You got to say it. First of all, Sherry was unfair. Andre was more ner- He ain't been on stage. You've been on stage. I know a he kept going. Times. Andre said thirty million times, "I ain't been on stage." Let in him year. concentrate. I ain't been on stage. And in she year. was putting all kind of extra stuff, <laughs> which he didn't. By the way, he didn't do none of it. I said, Andre, <laughs> when you get on stage, I want you to say to the people you witnessing a special show. So if I got to come up here and get these ladies Did off, you the write stage, it for him? No, well, I got to write it for him. He a man. Shoot, yeah. what's that got to do? <laughs> Dude, he a man. I, said, I didn't say it was a special show. I didn't say it was the exact word. Exactly. You didn't say exactly what I told you to say. See? I was trying to remember my damn joke. I know, because you ain't been on stage in a year. I know. I don't know why you had to remember your jokes. You could have put them on a piece of paper and put them on stage like I did. You did? Kim, uh, there was a school on stage. Pages. I didn't even have oh. a place to put my set list. Kim had 19 pages of notes. Because I had our the- set. I had my And set. they showed the crowd my reading glasses. I was so mad at her. Then I, 
a whole page of your and credits. And then proceeded to tell, Chris, this is the worst thing you say to a black woman. Why all the tracks in your wig showing? Mm. <laughs> the audience. All the tracks in your wig showing. And she starts picking at my wig. Oh, I had no. to throw it on because Andre told me he didn't like the other wig I had on. He said it didn't do nothing yeah. for me. So I'm all self-conscious about the hair I got on. Wait, wait, wait. Was that? But that wasn't the wig you wore second uh, as you did the Diana Ross. No, I did a bob. That was a black bob. No, that go, was nice. The go-go. other wig, look, you did look like a gospel singer. <laughs> it was not a comedy <laughs> wig at all. Andre was That's absolutely what Andre right. said. He was, wasn't no comedy wig. No, it messed up our brand. I'm glad he, I told him to say something. <laughs> I got your back. See you know, Andre don't want to lead a room when I'm trying to change. You know, Andre got this thing with women to change it. My back is to you. That's what he did with the dancers at Kim's bachelorette party. When a bachelor party, when I told him he had to lead the dancers so they could change. My, my back, back is to him. He said that to you too. He said it to me at the club. I said, Andre, I'm Gary, get changed. He said, well, my back is to you. He ain't never had to say that to me. I just dropped my drawers. <laughs> <laughs> Drop them out. Look, you gotta understand. Andre been around so long. <laughs> now you want to hear something bad? I've known Andre. Yes, yeah. let's hear this. He did photo shoot Andre did. Oh, so you might. I knew Andre, Andre lived who's... across the street from John Singleton. Okay, Andre, who's known you longer, <laughs> me or Sherry? I knew Andre Sherry. when he came with Cheryl Underwood. He said Sherry. Yeah, I knew Andre when he came with Cheryl. I tried to sleep oh. with Andre way back when he didn't. He wouldn't. I'm sorry. Get... Yeah, it was she a long said time she ago. tried to sleep with you, Andrew, and you gave her no play. No play at all. So don't try now, nigga. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> now that I'm somebody. Now that I got some credits behind my name. Got some credits behind my name. I, I didn't know. I'm just, I wasn't paying no attention. Apparently. <laughs> but you got to remember, he was goofy and had glasses. He no, no, but square. he wasn't He wasn't goofy. He was very interested. Was I, was I doing photography then? Yeah, you were doing photography. No, no. I would okay. never say Andre was goofy. He's never been goofy. He was very introspective. He was very oh. deep. Um, he didn't talk a lot. Like he just was very about that photography. That's the kind that'll kill you at night, though. Yeah, yeah, I do believe it. <laughs> Andre will snap and kill a whole bunch of people. Yeah. That's gonna happen. But see, I was focused on the photography. Therefore, even if you were giving me vibes that there was a rhythm, I, I overlooked it because I was focused on getting the shots. And he had a little Asian girlfriend. Oh, I don't think he had the Asian girlfriend at that. I think they broke up. Him and the Asian. Yeah, we broke up. They yeah, broke we up. broke up by then. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, but I know people yeah. Andre messed around with. And I was like, dang, I, what happened? You're like, I could have got that. I, you you going to talk to her. <laughs> <laughs> I know what Andre just slept with. But. Damn, Andre. You know more than, how do you know all this? Because she told me. Because she told me. Who? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's too late now. Okay. So you going to tell me you, you wouldn't take sloppy seconds? No, it's too why late. Not? Because Andre is too much of a friend. I like him too much. He's so friend. if every Andre is the reason why my toe was fractured. Okay. I fractured my toe because of Andre. Oh, no, yeah. you didn't have your glasses on. You was trying to be cute. That's why you flashed you. Your toe, your toe was fractured. We did a. I told we, you to put your shield, put your glasses on, <laughs> and you don't put your glasses on. We did a, a video shoot, Chris. Uh, I was trying to make losing weight sexy, and I had mm. to get into. A jacuzzi and he kept saying put your reading glasses on <laughs> that's not sexy i had a swimming suit on i was supposed to drop the towel really slowly i'm gonna send it to you so you can play it i was supposed to drop the towel really slowly and step into the jacuzzi but because i didn't have my reading glasses on it one stair turned into five stairs mm, see my, my and so I went to step down into one of the five stairs and missed the whole stair and realized there's some more stairs that I didn't even know about way deep down in this jacuzzi. My feet curled up under me and that toe went, bitch, what is you doing? Uh, I hit the crack and it fractured. All right, what so you, you uh, what? What's happening here? Yeah. I'm flexible. What's happening? You probably right. gonna need to yeah, read these lines with me because Sherry oh, can she go got to sleep. Audition. Yeah, I got this audition. Can you just come over and spend the night? Oh. Uh, you ain't got to spend the night. night last night. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all get on me about why Andre and me can't get together. Oh, damn, that's my bad. Hey, you fool. <laughs> oh, Do me a favor, Sherry. Y'all, excuse me. I ain't been here in a minute. Can you get that red plastic cup behind you? Swirl around and give me some water. It's hot in here. <laughs> Look, y'all, sorry, we, I ain't been here in a minute, so I don't know how a podcast is supposed to go. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. This I know that laugh. Be careful. 
have been missing. <laughs> yes. Uh-huh. Kim. Okay. Uh, yes, baby. Oh, look who it is. She's back. Okay. Oh, All right. I am back, but I have been, you know, I'm not going to say stressed. I'm not going no, to. No, you, you were stressed. You've been busy. That. I do want to know. You was a little overwhelmed. Yeah. You were a little bit overwhelmed. You had a birthday. I did. Can we hear about the trip? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Chris. Andre, what you going to do? Oh, that yes. Let's yeah. Let's lock that down. Huh? A lot of people getting COVID, and you know, and we got the the vaccine, you know. So I just need to know, you were, were you around a lot of people today? Oh, but they're all they're all uh, tested, tested and okay, just yeah. like the set. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right. All right. That's cool. Uh, yeah. This this vaccine thing, y'all, is no joke. Uh, I gotta say that on the podcast. People, I saw a little thing, you know, people get vaccinated. That's what you do. And you can get COVID even if you get vaccinated, but you ain't going to die, you know, but you still do it. You take a birth control, you can get pregnant and still be on the birth control, but you still take it, right? You're still doing yeah, it nasty. 100%. You wear condoms and they break. Yep. So, I mean, yep. So stuff happens. stuff happens. So, you know. Um, I've stopped trying to convince people to get vaccinated because people who don't want to, there's nothing you can do to make them until something happens to make them. I think it's a waste of your breath. Really? Yeah, I really do. You're gonna just shoot I us think, down. I think, I, because look how many times you told me to get vaccinated. I did. Look I how many you. times you told me to get vaccinated. And the only reason why when it got vaccinated was because- um, I told you you couldn't come over here no more. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the only reason why when it got vaccinated was because I went to the lab factory yeah. when they first opened up and so many people were in my face trying to take pictures. One lady came running at me, grabbed me, and put her lips on my neck. Mm. She nuzzled my neck because she was so excited because uh, she was a fan, and I had a panic attack. Yeah. Because people could, and then the press was there. And, and you've had three scares. And I've had three scares of people around me. And like one guy who was uh, with uh, one of the news media he had some dirty band it was tmz he had a dirty bandana on his face he was like i'm vaxxed i'm vaxxed yeah but why you didn't clean wash your bandana and um i had a panic attack in the car because i realized i got my son and i'm around these people Mm -hmm. and if something happens to me the entire house of cards will fall and we and i can't afford that so something had to happen to make me get the vaccine and to and even Andre wasn't. Is Andre still on the phone? Yep. Even Andre, <laughs> what did you get the vaccine, Andre? Yep. Vaccine. Yeah. Why to get the? Why did you get the vaccine? Besides, we threatened him. But... Yeah, we did. Uh, because I could finally get some. Hmm. <laughs> oh. So the so the women were saying if you're not vaccinated, I'm not having sex with you. Well. Somebody I know is not vaccinated, and she wanted to know could she get the antibodies if I had them in me. So, wait, like you would put them in her? First of all, I need her to go talk to a nurse and not ask you. <laughs> yeah, really? First of all, that's just a doctor. He was so, probably wearing a stethoscope. To be fair, this is the craziest thing. Okay, and I get the antibodies. I didn't never heard that. I'm gonna get you some water. This is Thank you. So me. wait a minute. Oh, that is deep right there. <laughs> Y'all see got a little water station in the back here. Wait a minute. So, but this is the thing. I, you know, you see Michael John White's son oh. uh, died of COVID. Uh, my girlfriend just told me. six kids. Yeah, my girlfriend just told me that her cousin is in the hospital now and doesn't look good, who had COVID and was like, I don't. This is not doom and gloom. I'm just saying, we got to educate the people. She was like, uh, her cousin said, I can't get it. I already had it. Um, now you got it again and you're in the ICU. I know, I know somebody who's gotten it twice, yeah. And then there's the guy in San Diego with five kids and his last text to his wife was, I wish I had gotten vaccinated because he died. That was his last text. How long did it take you to get the vaccination? It took me less than 20 uh, minutes. 20 minutes total, including the you, wait time after. Like I'm saying. Well, that was not, it's not, it's not about the wait. It's about the thoughts of what the vaccine is going to do and all the but, but we all s- people smoke and eat sugar and treat their bodies like shit every day i just i yeah. don't understand the pushback because i'm like do we do it we walking through a major city and breathing in that the pollution is bad for you i got a big water jug right it's here. not cold it's hot oh but you're not supposed to drink cold water for your body is warm temperature room temperature thank you that was very yeah you're welcome 
Sorry mm. about that. We digress. It's delicious. Okay, so we're talking about the vaccine. We can move on. Just, you yeah. know, you can plant seeds. Yes. But I think that people who really have had a hard, a hard stance and feel their rights are being taken away, I, I understand it. No judgment. But we're in such a different world that your decisions and the ramifications affect so many more people than you. It's, you know, and um, most the people who are talking about getting your rights taken away uh, were trying to keep the country segregated. So they have no voice in the opinion. Yeah, they, no, but Andre, it's not only it's not only, it's, there's a lot of black people who don't want to get vaccinated. But not about oh, rights. Well. Huh? But it's not about rights. They, they don't trust the government. Yeah. They don't trust the government. They think it's Tuskegee Airmen. Is you know, and now, and, and they don't trust the government. And it's like the Tuskegee Airmen experiment is that they withheld the treatment for right. people who had syphilis already. And people feel like, no, now people are being paid to say that. Because for years we thought, oh, they, well, they if, gave them If syphilis. Corona was only in black communities, or if they had two different vaccines, well, this is the Negro vaccine. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> well, I'm not going to lie to you, Andre. When I went and took my vaccine, I was like, I went to, I took my vaccine at a Rite Aid where rich people live. Rich white people live. That's where I went because I wanted to make sure. I was the only black person that was getting a vaccine. And when they said, hold on, I was like, where are you going? Oh, yeah. No, no. Where are you going? Nothing, no, no, I don't trust nobody. But switch up nothing. Yeah, I was like, you're not going to switch up nothing on me. Shoot. Oh, no. But I went right with, with rich white people. Now, I don't care what no, it sounds like. I mean, That's it's, not a, it's not a, a big deal. I mean, I, I took the vaccine months and months ago. And the only thing I really have is a small bat wing coming out my back. And it doesn't bother me. <laughs> quite aesthetically appealing. Right, right. Nice. Okay. I've gotten a couple compliments. Or as I like to call it, your ball tickler. <laughs> <laughs> Why do we sound like two cackling witches? Oh my God. Oh, that this was is the stuff. This is but the that stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I'm a bat wing, or as I like to call it, my ball tickler. <laughs> Oh, aren't you guys glad Kim Whitley is back to play with us? Even though I made her. Andre, we're going to let you go because we got to finish up this podcast. So, Andre, what you going to do? Oh, oh, damn. Boy. Is that how you talk to dudes? Huh? That's how you talk to Chris. So, Chris, what you going to do? Because this <laughs> what you going to so, do? Chris, okay, I'm sorry. Let me change it up. You're right. Tap into so, your femininity Andre, with your goddess mm. power. So, okay. Yeah. Hey, use your dancer voice. Oh. So, uh, Andre, you think you're going to be... <laughs> That's how they talk to your dad at the party? No, really? No, they was all over. Yeah, like, we had scientists as dancers. Are you serious? Well, you oh, said, no, wait. You wait said before they were we great. Let, uh, Chris, they before were we great. let you go, because Andre was there. Andre, did that, Did one of the dancers have a money, a money changing machine? A money counter? <laughs> yeah, the money she counter made so there. much money. It's like, like, it's like a drug deal house. But they just... just you Somebody should see, just... and Kim got mad at them because she was like, if y'all making all this money, why I had to pay? Mm -hmm. They, they didn't expect them. Auntie Sugar to have a word with they them. They didn't know that Kim was mad, Chris, because they laughed, and she was like, hee ha, hee ha. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he -ha. I was like, damn, Kim, you so hard. Kim remembers <laughs> random things, too. There was something that Kim, we were talking the other day, and she was like, oh, that's that person from that one time on the show. And I was like, whoa, you remember that? And Kim has a, a quick recall, so I'd be careful if I were those ladies if they do oh, work for her again. Mad. She'll know. That she'll know. She mad that she had to pay them money, and I said, "But Kim, the tips were theirs. They worked for the tips." Yeah, but I didn't know they was gonna make that much tips. Right? They make. Why well, I gotta pay? Since they made all that money, they had their money counting machine out. Yeah, it was that money counting machine. I can't believe it. It was like. I guess. Hey, cue that. the child. Yeah, there's a lot of Wait a minute. Over here that we what is that? What is that? What is that? What? Wait, I'm not what is this? No, what, let me see this. Let me oh see this. God. What is this? It's slime. He oh does my that. gosh. Joshua, that's not slime. Yeah, it is. It is slime. Where? The play place. I let her play with it. Okay, let's put that on any of my new furniture. Please, you Oh you my God, there. get away from that white table. Yeah, go, do not drop nothing on the floor. Oh my God. Joshua, you better watch her. <laughs> She was so cute. No, no. It's in good. the playroom. Just the warden said go in the They shouldn't have even been out of the playroom. Oh. Andre's on his way over. Go in the playroom now. You need to come over right now. <laughs> and where? In my sink? No, Josh is gonna plug the sink up. 
take a paper towel. Don't let it go in my sink. Jesus, oh, excuse me. Go check on the kids. All right. We oh, that was beautiful. Okay, let me tell you something. Kim just got new furniture because her family was visiting because Kyle was getting married. So she she got new furniture, beautiful white furniture with gorgeous dark blue velvet chairs that are heavy. You know they're expensive when you can't lift them. Hmm. They're very heavy. And they came in with blue slime yeah. all over their hands. And in order to get to Kim's office, you got to pass this big, huge white lacquer table with the hmm. dark blue blue velveteen chair. You got to pass that with that blue slime. But then you also got to pass a kitchen table that she had restored or something. She, with new chair or cream colored. Oh, well, it's Kim is... It's not as new. And then there's artwork everywhere. How about the $10,000 Oprah chair to your left? And these chairs that she bought at uh, when Oprah was selling her furniture. Not to mention cream. Andre, you need to come over. <laughs> I've taken edibles and they, they're kicking me in that. I don't know if I can fly. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. This is I'm the not perfect coming to get you. Day. I know you're going to answer the door with no clothes on, so I'm not coming to get you. So. Oh, oh, this makes me so happy. Oh, that's great. I'm not. Oh. I'm great. Did you get that video I sent you, Chris? I did, and we're going to add it in um, later. No. No, maybe add it in late because we have to respond to it. So not this. We'll we'll show the video later. Okay, we'll, we'll do that another time. That's whole vibe. We'll do it a different time. But uh, yeah, so so I'm That's... surprised we got Kim this long. I'm telling you guys, we got a this is oh. a 35 minute podcast. I hope she comes back and gives us a report. Hopefully those children are okay. Hey Chris. Chris. Yes, sir. This this is the first day I've not really been around either one of them, so I had to get high, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I talk to Andre about every day, so I'm I'm happy. Uh, I'm happy you're doing okay, man. You need to yeah get out get out there on that other planet. Get a, get a little relaxation in. <laughs> Take the night yeah, for you. Man, you know. <laughs> oh. So go sit back, open up your legs, and let them breathe. Okay. <laughs> go on, Andre. I'm done. <laughs> good night. I love you. I, I, so oh, you you're gonna you, have buddy. to read up by yourself. You're not gonna be no good. All right. <laughs> All right. See you later. Bye. Oh, amazing. Kim has a, a big project she's working on with Lena Waithe. It's gonna be announced uh, shortly, so I can't say Lena Waithe, who created The Shy, The Twenties on BET, and wrote the movie Queen and Slim, and she won an Emmy uh, for her writing on Masters of None that Kim was on. So she's doing a big, big project with Lena and um, it's quite exciting and quite amazingly good. So uh, she's Kim's got that. Working. Yeah. Well, she's working. I actually got to be a part of the project. I'm. So, it's uh, Andre as well. It's so good. So I'll let her tell you when they make the announcement. And then she's also going up for a big, huge movie tomorrow. So she's got, um, she's got a lot of pages that she has to memorize. Oh my goodness. A lot of lines. She's got a lot of stuff. So this podcast was only supposed to be 35 minutes. And um, then her son and his play date walk in with blue slime all over their hands. So this podcast, I guarantee you, is about to be cut short. But I wanted y'all to see that Kim was alive. I know you guys were missing her, missing her energy. And so she's been, she's been just, it's been overwhelming. There's a lot of stuff going on. When you're a single mama, you got to do, you got to do a lot of stuff to keep the, be paying those bills too. But I don't know if Kim, will ha did you get it together? Did you get it all wiped, wiped off? Yeah, I got it. Are, okay, are so you know you have the stuff Clorox, to do. Clorox, bleach, Clorox, white. bleach. Oh my God. That's still on me though. Oh, are shit. Are the children okay? Well, <laughs> that's. They probably in, in the back trunk of my car. Yeah. I'm probably taking it. <sighs> I want to be respectful of your time because you have a lot of stuff going on yes. tomorrow. I got to memorize this, uh, these lines yeah. for this movie uh, tomorrow. It's been fun. So it's been a lot of fun. We still got a lot more to talk about. Plus my teeth. I'm, I'm afraid this air is going to hit it. But uh, next, when we come back, you have to tell about your trip to Cabo. Yes, absolutely. You'll be able to talk about your project, which will be announced very shortly. I'll be able to talk about, I'm going to Martha's Vineyard. This oh, she's going, oh, we've, we've, going to Martha's We've covered that on your show. It's been discussed. So B-flat wanted to go. Oh, yes. B-flat was hoping you'd drop out. Call Kim up. What'd she say to you? She sure did. She was like, are you really going to go? Can I, I mean, I'd really like to go. I was like, I want to go. 
<laughs> yeah, B was just like, and I said I would talk I, to you. We've been three times. This has been my first time. This will be your first time. It's before. a big festival in Martha's Vineyard, a uh, uh, film festival, and they have a week of comedy. So I wanted to take Joshua right before school. Can you believe school's about to start? School's about to start. How are they going to do that? They're going to wear masks. Yeah. Thankfully, mm. we're not in Florida. Ron DeSantis, the government, is telling the school he's not going to give them funding if they have a mask mandate. What? He said he would not fund the schools. Highest they, cases no, in Florida highest, to date. Oh, in, to what? date. So what do you think? He's the devil? He's, and, he's one gonna run, he wants to run for president. And he wants to get all of those people who are anti-vaxxers. But that's not going to make you win. Well, it's a lot of people who like Trump. And so he wants those votes. And that's uh -huh. a, that's 46% of the country. So there you go. So it's the highest cases of COVID. And he's still got, he's got t-shirts making fun of Fauci. He's talking about, you don't need to wear a mask. And uh, it's just- So he wants the kids to suffer because he wants to well, win. Well, I don't think- That's the antichrist and, to me. Well, I'm not saying anything on that. I'm I know, because they pick up everything you say. I said it. <laughs> he's the disantichrist? Yeah, when you want children to suffer, I don't know what else you want to call that. No, I'm not going to comment on that. I just think no, that no comment, be careful. No comment from Sherry Shepard, but Kim Whitley <laughs> absolutely feels, I don't even know the man's name, so I don't know how they're going to make a quote. <laughs> just call him Antichrist. That dude, uh, the, dude, the dude, that dude down there. It was Ron DeSantis, but we're, we we don't want it to be doom and gloom. But we're yes, not doom and gloom, the kids but in California, the children, the children in California children. have to wear masks. But Jeffrey wears his mask all the time. He, you know, kids are so used to wearing a mask now. Mm -hmm. They just wear it. And Jeffrey goes, he wears his mask all the time. I got a special mask uh, for Joshua uh, for school. Because he has asthma. Yes, I got mm. him a special a spe what? You know, one of them globe helmets that go right over to your neck. So he's going to be the only one with a globe on his head. No, he's going to say Halloween is coming up. I'm getting ready. Is and she I'm, serious? I am a you astronaut. Let, okay, I'm an astronaut. He's a little, be little Bezos. Jeff Bezos. Oh, my God. There it is. I told the school, because they wrote us letters and said, if you would prefer, because of everything that's happening, for your child to stay home. I called them up and I said, I'll curse you out. Jeffrey's, if I have to inject him with turmeric, ginger, and Aunt Jemima syrup oh. as my own vaccine, he will be in that school. Oh, Joshua will be in this school. Yeah, because online does not work for my son. He's got to socialize. It was horrible. Yeah, it was horrible. Hey, terrible. Was horrible. I can't imagine yeah. that. He was went through severe depression, my son, of being by himself in his room 24-7 yeah, on a computer. It just was terrible. No, it's bad. I so we were sending our kids yeah. back. And, uh, At first, I was like, no, I'm not sending them back. I'm not sending them back. Joshua can't, you know, he's too young to be vaccinated, but I will have that special mask on. He will, you know, I even got the little chain so I can hang around his neck. I said, you're not losing this. What's the chain? Oh, for his neck? Oh, jeez. <laughs> you got it. Well, it's special times out for special men. But you just got to get it tested. You got to get them tested, you know, they a little more. School. To, uh, like what, twice a week? Yeah. Yeah. Probably a little bit more. Jeez, man. I what mean, a... Jeffrey's been tested because I've had people around me uh, catch COVID and Jeffrey gets tested so much, mm. but so do I, and we're vaccinated. So, and just, wow. here's the thing, folks, people around me who are vaccinated have gotten it. If you have the vaccine, it does yeah. not mean you cannot catch it. So be it just, yes, yes. Wear your mask. it means that if you catch it, you're not going to die. Your body can fight it. it you're not going to have the same know. symptoms that an unvaccinated person would have. So you can fight it off your body because you have the ingredients or whatever they put in. But it doesn't mean you can't catch it. It doesn't mean that you can't give it to somebody That's the, the who's unvaccinated. You can, give it to somebody. you can still give it to somebody. If you're unvaccinated, you can still give it to a vaccinated person. Yeah. It's you just know, really going back to the way we were. I don't want to shut down ago again. Without shutting I can't down, do I'm it. Saying, but we have to live like we are shut down. I know. Like just as careful. I got a friend, Buddy Lewis, a comic. He went to Greece to film a movie, and Buddy he got it. You don't. You ain't heard the story. No. Oh, you ain't been on the Instagram. No, I'm, I'm fasting from. Oh, that's later. right. So, Buddy Lewis. Uh, today, I guess, was getting on a plane to come back to the United States and they test you. Well, he was at the airport. They tested him. And they were like, oh, you're positive. <gasps> come over to this little jail cell. We're going to lock him up. They lock He is at the airport quarantined for seven days in Greece. At the airport? They won't even let him stay in a hotel? No. 
Oh. But, it, but we we checked on it. It looks like a nice room, whatever it is. It doesn't look but like it's a prison. room. Right. At first, I thought it was in like a little cell. So oh he God. is in Greece. He said, I don't know who I got it from because no one around him, no one on the crew, no one has it. He's in right now. He said he thought he had a head cold. But at the airport, they tested him before he got on that plane. They said, nope. So he cannot come back. I said, so I asked him, I was like, well, who's paying for that? I think the government pays for it. So he stays there for, he got stayed there for seven days until he's tested again. He said, now he can't, he tastes anything. He said, but they're very, they're lovely. He said, they give him three meals a day. He said, but what? I can't taste or smell it. But he's so, going to end up marrying somebody out there in Greece. That's what I was thinking. But he, you know, he's talking about he don't know who he got it from. Mm-hmm. Ooh. <laughs> Nobody lives. We're talking about a comic who's very funny. But he's talking about he don't know who he got it from. Let me tell you when a man be getting COVID. Talking oh. about, I don't know where I got it from. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you ask him that. Oh. Ask him, did he meet somebody out there? Yes, because uh-huh. no one else got it. Because nobody else got it. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. But to be in Greece, I mean, that's a nice place to be. If you're going to have it, I guess. But he's there for a week by himself because everybody else left. Everybody, oh, that's horrible. You're in a country. What if it's yes. an uprising? Good grief. Or what if they lock the Greece down? Anything. Yep. Oh, my there. gosh. <laughs> you know, buddy be living in Inglewood. Oh, God. You got to meet somebody quick. I'm telling you. And here's the deal because having it, like, because I've been telling all my dating stories. I was talking to somebody yesterday um, and he was talking about coming out to LA to see me. And I was like, how are we supposed to do this? Like, do you get a, and then there's another, uh, uh, my guy who owns his own restoration mm-hmm. business. Um, he restores old houses. Like he's coming out. Are they vaccinated? They're all vaccinated. Oh, okay. I don't mess with nobody who's in Like, vaccinated. do you get the miles when they come see you? Like, how does that work? What do you mean do I get the miles? I mean, no, if, you're, I, if you're importing all this. No, I, they flying out to see me. I'm not doing okay. it no more. I don't right. see me. But it's the thing of talking to them when they said they're coming out here. I'm like, how do we do this? Do you, you know, you're vaccinated, but still, I take tests. I still get tested. I got tested today. I got tested two days ago. You got tested because it doesn't mean you can't get it. And so, um, when he comes out, the gentleman who restores old homes, and and he comes out to to see, he needs to get tested when he he's got to get tested when he lands. But that just means, okay. I mean, okay. there's still going to be like, lag time. But like he's going, oh jeez, it's so crazy. Then the other one who's coming to see me, like I'm like, you got to get tested. He's coming from Atlanta. I know so. they're coming up with some home tests. I bet you that you can buy it at CVS. And they got to get chipped these mm-hmm. vaccination cards, like hook them up to your driver's license, because otherwise you can go to Ro- Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles and buy a vaccination card. You all are successful enough. You have Illuminati connections. Like, there's got to be a fast, quick test that only celebrities can get. Come on. I mean, the only Illuminati I know is Andre. We can call him up and ask. <laughs> <laughs> Andre, don't no, have me involved in everything. I don't know no Illuminati people. Kim, mm-hmm. eh? Mm-hmm. You know Illuminati? No. Okay, your You're eyes sit- wide. Your, your, your eyes looked at me. I went, Kim. Ask me, Chris. I'm Kim. Ask me if I know Illuminati. Hey, what's the deal with you and the Illuminati? I don't know. <laughs> That's what our eyes are. Kim. Kim, you're sitting in a chair from Oprah Winfrey. I think maybe. Oh, you had to stop. Ooh, oh, Oprah. Oh, you, Oprah was sitting there somewhere in Germany and went, "Who called my name? <laughs> you better stop. Don't say Oprah name like that. Oprah, know who all say her name." All I'm Don't saying is, that. she's the most connected woman in the world. That's all. I didn't say anything about Oprah and Illuminati. I'm just saying. But not. We didn't say that either. Oprah know everything going she to knows. Kim life. <laughs> she didn't find it right when it's five past end. Right. <laughs> Get rid of the white guy. Yeah, don't you? Yeah, I'm telling you, if you lose your job, that was the big O. <laughs> so anyway, we got to do this podcast because I got to go home and memorize some lines. Kim, Andre said he can't come over. He's got edible. Kim, do you need a do you need a FaceTime line reader? No, she needs. Oh, I could. This is bad. You took an edible. Did my team let's not do the podcast today? I said I actually have a huge oh, don't audition. don't blame the podcast. Well, I now can, you I have lot, that's what I'm saying. We really we I talk can, about this all day. But we, we have to really think things through sometimes. <laughs> we could have put up a sign and said, see you next week. We have just put both our careers <laughs> on the for the podcast. <laughs> Which you ain't made no money from yet. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why she pushed you today. We both have huge things to do tomorrow. And now it's 8 30 and I'm sleepy. And I'm going to help you. No, I'm going to read with you. No, I'm going yeah, to read with you. Yes. 
You're tired. I'm no, not I'm not. Tired. I'm not tired. It's I'm, not, it's I not don't. Re- I was gonna go home and talk to this dude, but I don't need to do that. I can talk to him tomorrow. You're so, gonna go talk to a dude. Yeah. And you have lines to learn. I will learn my lines, but I was gonna talk to him. So who I'm, is the dude? Why are you up in my business? I was gonna go talk to him. Is he worth it? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. He's definitely worth a movie. Nothing I'm not gonna lose tomorrow. my movie. I'm not gonna lose because I can. You know me. I Is can he memorize worth mine. Lines. I can't. <laughs> now we. <laughs> I can memorize lines like that. That's Sherry, not, so, Kim has yeah. to secure oh. her and I. Her and I. What was that? What happened? Oh, oh. Are two. you're gonna read know. lines with those teeth? Yeah, yeah I'm gonna read them, but I, I, it's not about me. It's about her. We can do this. Just give me a copy, and we're gonna sit down. And we. I'm not tired. I'm not tired. You're not. Nope. But this is the thing. This is why I don't want to do it some, with uh, some chicken. She is, just like she talked to Kevin, a lot of pressure. She's too much. She's going to make me really feel uncomfortable. I know I'm going to make you really act is what I'm going to make you do. <laughs> <sighs> I'm going to really make you go there with your acting. But you're amazing, an amazing actress. Well, I'm going to have to put some glasses on because I, I just don't. Okay, it's character. Right. Okay, stop We're making excuses. Stop. Okay, whatever. So everybody, uh, please tell your friends and uh, friends and family to follow us. We're trying to get to a hundred thousand uh, followers by December, and so if you could tell five or six people to follow Two Funny Mamas on YouTube or your favorite pop. Uh, podcast platform. If you want to buy merchandise, we're about to add some more stuff. Go to buyjack.com slash two funny mamas. And there's a woman named La- Laquisha. I think she wrote, we're working on the wig for you. I asked you because remember there was- You were saying that for seven No, no, no. We, no, no. I contacted her. No, 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 no. No, no, no. I think her name is Laquisha or Laquisha. Uh, but I contacted her and asked her um, uh, about the measurements of her head so we get the right wig for her. Here so we go. That- I Here's a listener question. Uh, e Daily Pop, is that in your uh, is that in your schedule, Kim? What's going on? I will go back to Daily Pop. I I've just been. You've been my really schedule's busy. been really uh, packed. It's a little bit harder for us now because during the pandemic, we everything was shut down in Hollywood, mm-hmm. and we weren't working. And when they lifted it, then we started going back to work. And so it, it's a little bit harder for us now to, because we're not confined to our homes. So Kim and I both, we're, and thank you, Chris, because Chris actually, this pot, it's right about nine o'clock now, or 9.30. And Chris pushed all of his stuff to the side because he had another podcast to accommodate us at this time. Because every our stuff is so last minute. So we thank you for doing that, Chris. Uh, You're very we, welcome. Always a pleasure. So it, we, it's it's hard to get us both together at the same time to record the podcast. So we're working on it. We're not going to abandon it, but we're working on it. We're trying to get stuff done. So anyway, we appreciate you guys. Thank you for giving us more than 35 minutes of your time, Kim. But everybody was missing you so badly. I'm starting to get like irritated comments from people. Oh, um, people, you, people are getting serious with the comments. We're really seriously getting irritated. Uh, at, at you not being here, and they were missing, and I wasn't enough. I appreciate enough. y'all. Yeah, I wasn't enough. They were it, so I said I, I bet you know I pretty much forced Cam yeah. to do this podcast. So we are gonna go, and uh, we thank you, and thank you for giving Kim her birthday money, your cash app because your birthday just passed. What's your cash app? Yeah, at Kim Whitley. Yep. So money y'all, sign, Kim if, Whitley. I'll send them my money. I'm fine. Thank you so much. I was gonna give, give it, it to a, a charity. charity of your choice. Yes, I was gonna give it to the. Ch- I was gonna say charity name. Oh, you gonna say a charity? Yo, charity, the shoe chair, the autism speaks. First of all, that's Holly Robinson Pete. Oh, oh shoot. Hilarious. This is charity. Oh shoot. Hilarious. Thing. Don't get me wrong. Oh What's the God. name of your charity? My God, what is wrong with you? I forgot. What's the name of your charity? It's a. Uh, it's called Autism. No, oh, oh, no, it's, it's uh, for autism. It's children. It's for the kids with no feet. Okay. Oh it's my. The, Kids at Ariba Martin, Ma- Mo- Moomba, Moomba's kids. Pink Pump Affair and That's not the name of the charity. No, it's not. It's uh, the, the kids that, that lost something in their lives. Moomba's Mo- kids. No, that's not. No, oh, no, that's the kids that live in Africa. Right. The Moomba kids. The Moomba kids. That's see Mickey's charity. Oh, good Lord. This um, is the name of the charity. Why are you making that? Red Cross. Me no, it's uh, not. It's, it's uh, uh, Kim's C. kids. Lathata. It's Kim's kids. Kim's kids. Kim's kids. <laughs> Wow. Have you, have you, are they Kim's like, hey, adults? Have you checked on them? Charity. Damn. Right. 
Well, where is it? You've been doing it for years. Oh I told, I didn't even tell the story how you got me to pay all that money for a trip where to Spain. Is it? What? She don't even know the name. Oh my gosh. Oh shoot, the no, girl didn't have the charity for the last I decade. Know. I just talked about the charity yesterday. Oh my gosh. I'm asking y'all to cash out because we're gonna give birthday. Keep talking. Month. I'm trying to listen to it. What is Ariva? Huh? Ariva Martin. It's called The Forgotten Kids. No, it's called the <laughs> It's called Oh, damn. What's wrong? What is, it's called the What's children. Ariva's number real quick? No, we're not going to call Ariva. She'll kill us. No, I'm, no, okay. I'm on the board. I, exactly. So I would oh, say... It I, sounds like a pretty extensive uh It's a, it's a really great... It's when Sherry that's, making me crazy right now. Oh, God. It's not I just told you about... No, stop it. You're making me. Those are my other stuff. What is wrong with you? No, what is wrong with you? <laughs> you, know, you know, I don't have no charity. You know, you know why? Lines I got in my head. All right. Do you understand? So we're going to get off. Just give it the charity. No, I'm going to give the charity. Oh, Dang, I just talked about it today. This is not a good sign. If somebody watches, we're going to erase all of this. Okay? <laughs> Let me tell you that right now. And here's the uh, thing. Now, since you've said that, people you know, are going to... Think of it. My charity is the special needs network oh there we go it's just the name ain't got children in it it's like <laughs> it's called special, special needs, needs network, network for children with children unique with... challenges with yes. special needs Jesus. so if you do cash app and i know kim is absolutely blessed but please know that those cash app payments are going to the special needs network not moon base kids not the <laughs> just stop. not kim's place stop. not the ones and not for the kids with no feet. It is going to the special needs network. That is where those, uh, the, that beautiful gift that you sent. So thank you. And we're going to get off because I got to help Kim with this uh, movie. No, this is, I got Because it's wait, a big wait, movie. Wait, wait, wait. She got to do it. This is what's killing me, y'all. See all that I went through with the children. I look outside. My brother is still here. Now he, the just he's married. here babysitting. <laughs> they running all over the place with slime. Kyle over there smoking a cigar. Yeah, the cigar. Yeah. He's like, oh, it's great. Great. To married life's great. He's not a babysitter. He's an architect. Oh. He you builds know, I can't things. Wait till we get off so I can go, in there, go out there and be like, Kyle, did you hear the children yelling? Kim, that's not what he does. He builds they foundations. They have blue slime on their hands. He makes things from nothing. He needs he to build some structure in these kids' lives, is what he needs to do. Well, maybe that's what you should say. You are architect. Build some structure. Nice. Use that. Hey, take that. That's for you. Thank you. Love All right, you. ladies and gentlemen, we love you. God bless you. Thank you. And we'll see you next week. Two funny mamas. Two funny mamas.